Welcome back to the TensorFlow tutorial series. This time we're talking about how the neural network works or how do they fit the line or predicting the line. So uh, you, you don't worry about the coding because right now you don't have to, uh, to code at the moment, but you will learn how to code neural nets uh, step by step uh, by watching my tutorial. I will show this coding. Uh, I will show this code uh, later on and step by step to teach you how to code that. But uh, this time, you just ignore this code. Uh, so uh, actually, today we're just telling about the, the blue points. The, all the blue points are my data sets. Is uh, uh, sort of y equals to the um, x squared plus something else. Uh, so it's. Uh, the shape is it looks like a concurve and the right line is what the machine learns or what the neural network learns to fit into the data at the end of this training process the, uh, the machine will learn to uh, fit the data by using a red line like this one if the problem becomes to three dimensional or four dimensional or even more dimensional because right now the features of this problem uh, for example the features for house price is by consider the house uh, area or house height or uh, where is the house in your city or close to CBD or uh, very far from CBD so right now we only consider one features for this problem so for example we only consider the area of my house for my house price so uh, I could plot this I could visualize by consider only one dimensional features but if you use uh, multi-dimensional features we can't visualize it with the maximum dimension is three dimensional is uh, it's, uh, it's a cube like that but uh, to show you a very simple example the two the, the, the one dimensional is very uh, simple uh, if increase the dimensional that the the machine learning is sort of using the same technique to fit a line in that uh, three-dimensional or four-dimensional uh, area uh, in that space. So uh, I will show you how the machine learning will work. So wait a minute. Yeah, at the beginning, when you see the red line, it's not very good to predict the uh, blue point. But step by step training make the red line very close to all the data. I will show you another time again. So once you see it, yeah, at the beginning the red line, you see that it, the red line just uh, just everywhere, but not fitting in the data. But the machine learning or neural network make this happen or make make this possible by using a red line to. Uh, fit into my data and this step is not very uh, accurate because the all, all the machine learning is uh, just like uh, approximate method to predicting my uh, data because they cannot do to 100% accurate this is normal issues in existing in the machine learning so if you can achieve 90% of the accuracy or uh, even 80% uh, of the accuracy at the beginning of learning then you are doing very good so this is actually what the machine learning doing or what the neural network doing is just fitting a red line into your data no matter how much is the dimensions the two dimension three dimension four dimension is just like fitting a line. This one is a regression problem. If you're going to do a, a classification problem, they actually, you have two or three groups of data. The line is just to uh, separate all this data. Because, uh, for example, you, ha you have uh, class A and class B. The, the line that's learned by machine learning is in the middle to separate these two groups of data. This is this different, another different types of machine learning. So uh, this is all for today. The next time I will show you the whole structures that you 
you must build in your uh, TensorFlow code. Well, what is the uh, coding structure or what is the coding format for building your TensorFlow neural network? If you have any questions, just feel free to leave your comments as below. I hope you like my video. I would you can subscribe to my channel to uh, access more TensorFlow or more machine learning tutorials if you like. So see you next time. Bye.